Welcome back. For our next community conversation, we're joined by Greg Hill, a Foley artist for the Wayne Theater. Hello, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us, um, what is your role in the SpongeBob musical? So I play the Foley fish, and um, that's the character who is responsible for sound effects throughout the show. So uh, Foley artists started back in the 30s in radio uh, productions, and uh, Jack Foley was the guy who was the father of Foley artists. And uh, producing those sounds added an extra layer of suspense so you could have the sound of walking shoes or doors slamming. Uh, and that's still used today in films when you have fight scenes and people are hitting people or gunshots and things like that. So uh, it's been around a long time and it, it's really fun to produce those sound effects during a live performance. Tell us, how does it work? How do you do it? So um, I have a table that is set up with lots of different <laughs> items and I've brought some here to show you some. Um, but basically I produce those as the actors are working on, on the stage and um, I have to pay attention very closely to what's going on because it is a live performance. So a sound effect that I might want to produce uh, has to coincide with what's happening with them. Well, give so us a little demonstration. Certainly. So uh, the three that I, I brought uh, are the walking of the characters. So SpongeBob has kind of a squeaky shoe walk. So that's styrofoam plates. And then Mr. Krabs has very tiny crab feet, and he has what I call a little tinky tinky sound. That's made with this aluminum nail and a, a brick. <laughs> so okay. when he's on stage. And then Squidward I just make with my mouth because he has uh, tentacles and little suction cups, so he sounds like <laughs> when he's walking on stage. So. Out of all the sounds you make, what's your favorite to do? Um, my favorite is the one that SpongeBob stole from me, which is his iconic nose whistle. That is perfect. <laughs> so tell me, during a musical, how do you do all of this? How does it work? So uh, I watch what's happening on stage. There are certain points where sound effects uh, really lend themselves to what's happening on stage. Uh, some of them are electronic. I can't produce explosions and rumbling of uh, avalanches. So I do have an iPad that I will uh, sync up to what's happening and, and at the right time. Uh, but for the most part, ones that I do produce, I'm watching what's happening and I just make those sounds with the items that I have. Is it just you that's doing it? Or? Yes. Wow. Yep. And so I'm actually part of the stage and the set. As you can see, I'm, I'm dressed for the set. It's just <laughs> a, an incredible production. And um, uh, I sit down off the stage and then I have a table set up with all my items that I use. And tell us before we go, what else is coming up at the Wayne Theater? So we have a lot of uh, great programs coming up. Uh, at the Wayne, uh, you can actually come this weekend to see SpongeBob. We have a performance tonight and then two tomorrow. So uh, we have a, a matinee and then an evening show and then a matinee on Sunday. Uh, and I encourage everybody to come out. This is a wonderful production. Students can actually come free tomorrow night too with a student uh, ID. So uh, Curtis Salgado is coming up. He's a blues singer songwriter and he'll be there on August 23rd. Uh, the Improvisators Comedy Troupe. You can get those tickets for $5, and that's a family-friendly show. Uh, and then we're also looking for sponsors for the uh, Ann Chili Cookers for the Virginia Chili Blues and Brews uh, that's coming up. All right, sounds so. good. Thank you for bringing in the props. They Absolutely. were awesome, and good luck tonight. Thank you very much. All right, we will be right back.